These next bunch of questions are from Frank Price, and they're all from Griffin, <laughs> it looks like. Oh. So, <laughs> well, I'm sure it's a way to I suppose to any, if you can answer some, you can always answer some of those, too. No, yeah. no, Griffin, just by all means. <laughs> Actually, it looks like a bunch of these questions. Just let me have this, Jenny. <laughs> my moments. <laughs> I, I sent all the questions. I just think. <laughs> Dang it, I should have done that. Uh, all right. <clears throat> How did you get so handsome? Oh, thank you for asking. Well. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel how do you feel about the expectations that have been built up by your prior success is this really just for me um i guess so with griffin so i'm well it's either probably it's what we'll just take this if if we'll either, just say that they don't know anyone else that works on the project okay yeah, okay. I guess so. yeah i'm not even here i mean whatever uh, okay Fine. Yeah. well to answer that question Jenny, um, <laughs> let me take this. Uh, yes, we, there's a lot of pressure to be better than the last episode since people have made the observation that they keep getting better and they already started out good. So there's sort of that. Like, uh, I don't think we've reached a moment too much where people are like, oh, this episode was really weak compared to, you know, such and such episode. And I think we're going to try to stay that way where every, every episode is just good. And, um, you know, maybe people have favorites. I know a lot of people's favorites are the read it and sleep episode. And that's like sort of one of my favorites too, just because it's me too. It's got the funny, it's got like the funniest premise, um, of them all, but I still think that they're all really good. Even the first one people, I think, People probably, and we even probably admit that the first one is the worst, but it's still way better than any other like series out there. So <laughs> we don't feel too bad about that. And mm -hmm. yeah, uh, the last one, Shoot from the Hip, was really popular, really successful, and a lot of people, you know, started subscribing and like sort of noticed us. It was kind of amazing that we made the first three episodes and people didn't. People didn't really know who we were. Yeah. Even you could mention us and it would be like, who's that? Like, who's what's <laughs> And then finally, in the fourth episode, it seemed like everyone, like all the major pony websites were talking about it and it was a big thing. So that makes me very optimistic when we release this, the fifth episode, that it will be like a big thing you know like when dress.move came out it was sort of a big thing where everyone was talking about it and got posted on every single pony website and forum everywhere so that would be nice if we reached that kind of um level where people are like you know because our episode takes a lot to make they're sort of like events when they come out mm -hmm. that would be my dream <laughs> yeah uh well nightmare night <laughs> beam Melistopia. Will we ever see Melistopia on the program? I don't uh, think we'll see the setting of Melistopia, but yeah, am I answering this? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, answer that one. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, um, we are going to feature Luna, who is Princess Molestia, as I think we've implied but not outright stated in the episodes yet. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, she's Molestia, and we're going to do the Nightmare Night episode at some point, so you'll see her. I don't know about the location of Molistopia because. We haven't really seen that many locations in the show at all. But yeah, Molestia will be here at some point. That Got plans. Hilarious. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, have you considered sponsorship or any type of product placement within the f show? We were going to uh, animate like packages of peanut MMs into the next episode. Yeah. And then yeah. just Is this fly by the screen? screen? Yeah. Pretty much. The awkward moments where the characters just pause whatever they're doing and just pop open <laughs> some peanut and, <laughs> and then just Twilight will say occasionally, like, were you going to check out Jack and Jill? Like, I got tickets. We should go. <laughs> yeah. It's a great movie. You know, just name dropping all the things they're on right now. Sandler yeah. is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you guys need any more extra voice actors or ad ideas, I could totally help with that. Oh yeah, we okay. you know we're we're all into branching out and getting people to We do. do. We love having collabs yeah. and guest voices. Voice. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. I know uh, we on Celestia Radio would love to do uh, little ads or promos or blippets or whatever. If you, if right. you have if you have one oh, in mind, sure. we can do on Celestia Radio. And I had had the idea to do the what's it called? Like before the episode, before maybe the next episode starts, there could be an actual ad from the hub. Like, <laughs> yes. Playing, playing and like then instead of saying like now you know next. Coming up, uh, friendship is magic. It could say, "Coming up is friendship is witchcraft." Coming up next mm-hmm. on the hub, friendship is witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. And uh, sort of like reinforce that idea that the that friendship is witchcraft is is not only like this parody. It's not just a parody of friendship is magic, but it's like in an alternate universe where the <laughs> hub is the channel, like. A real channel, and all our programs are like this. <laughs> all the yeah. programs are weird, oh and they're clearly not for kids. And you know, maybe even the happy it's announcer. Basically, it's basically like if if there was an Adult Swim version of the Hub, essentially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of, but it's more deadpan. Like everything would be deadpan. They wouldn't try to. Like it's not even trying to be funny. It's just this yeah. very weird alternate it's universe like, it channel. Would be very alarming and unnerving. Sometimes adults are <laughs> like that. <laughs> I feel like it would be great if the announcer, after saying like "Coming up next, friendship is witchcraft," like in his cheery announcer voice, he then has this kind of like agonized laugh after that sounds really forced, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, at the very end, when the French Bluescraft episode ends, it can, like, go back to the announce. It cuts back to, like, the hub stream where, like, he's supposed to say what's coming up next, and you just hear him softly crying in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> There's this silence, and he's just in crying. In the corner of the sound booth. <laughs> Fetal <Yeah>. position. <laughs> Oh He's like, God. I can't do it anymore. Right now. <laughs> oh, I would just do that for you. <laughs> yeah. So. Gunshots in the background, like, what is that? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Uh, Next question. Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think this is one of the questions that um, only Griff can answer. How many scoops of ice cream fit inside a memory cone? Uh, three. Three. I'd say. No idea what that's about. The world. Never... <laughs> Wait, so five. It's five. Ugh. God. God, screw it up. Ugh. Five scoops. <laughs> five scoops. I'm not sure. What... Yeah. Denny, what's your take on that? Oh, well, it wasn't my question, so I guess I'll well, show you. Well, you still have a thought. <laughs> on it you can still think about things no i wasn't even listening to be honest i was just like eating cheetos and crying oh wonderful then i just look like stupid one yeah oh you would know how many scoops were in there Mm. come on i'm saying that you know i've been you know what i've done these past few years you know how different i look yeah no same hasn't really made a difference Anyway, we're not here to talk about Griffin's struggle with his weight. <laughs> so, next question. Next question. How different? <clears throat> how different is the process of making uh, friendship as witchcraft as you have had an increasing in role in the voice work as you perform more voices? Does Denny do more oh. writing? Oh, right. Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara and uh, yeah, Isabel. yeah, yes. There for these two episodes, four and five, I will be have a larger role, but I suspect that. So well, after these two, it'll go, it'll be like more like before where I'm, I do very little voices. But uh, uh, not really. Like, it's all pretty much the same, um, mm-hmm. the same workload even in the episode itself has, is even bigger and even more um, high pollutant. So it's going to take even longer. But uh, I don't really think much has changed as far as the way the production works. How far ahead do you have the plot planned or the world built? Yeah, why don't you answer that, Jenny? I mean, okay. Um, we have a lot of general jokes, and we do kind of have an idea of plot threads we've put in where we want them to go. But um, we're kind of flexible on which episode we do next at any given time. And, yeah, I mean, we're always adding on to the world. But it's pretty general. 
it's more just general ideas that we want to bring back than actual events that we have planned. Is that what you'd say? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's more, it's, I, it's, it, <laughs> it would be, it would be absurd to think that we've like gone ahead and watched all the other episodes that we'll be dubbing <laughs> and already built a whole story out of all the episodes. Like, no, that's, we totally, we're playing it by ear as, as far as that goes, but we do have general ideas of what certain characters like um, Luna as Molestia, and we have an idea of what that episode will be like when we do it. 